welcome back. I'm here at the property. Um, you can hear the road, which is kind of one of the downfalls of the property that we purchased, but here in Prescott, it is very difficult to find land um, that is buildable. So we did find a really nice um, flat um, property. Um, I'll kind of show you guys around and then um, I'll take you kind of through all of the work that they've done today. We just broke ground like yesterday. Uh, we still don't even have a porta potty here. And um, so everything has just kind of started. Um, the loan went through, the um, permits were done, and now we had our subs ready to go. They were waiting. Um, so everything is gonna start flying through. Um, and this is an owner builder um, construction project. Um, my mother has a lot of prior experience during doing owner builder so she is kind of helping guide us through this process but um, this is an owner builder project so it is going to be very interesting to see how everything pans out i'm sure it will be fine my mom has built like 15 homes in her lifetime um, and they've all been beautiful we lived in them as a kid and so she knows what's going on and so she's been advising us on what to do and it's been a great process so anyway i'm gonna flip you guys around and just show you around the property real quick um and then take you through the downstairs map because they have mapped out the downstairs with um orange spray paint so now we can kind of see where the house is gonna sit and kind of like what our plans are for the property all right so um at the top here this is our driveway it's gonna kind of curve down and then um, the garage is, starts right here with this yellow or orange line. And then we have all of this lovely space over here for extra parking, maybe an RV pad. And then we have some space up in the top there for potential little chicken coop or I don't know, some landscape, maybe like a nice fruit tree or something. Um, but we have all this space up here. We have all of this beautiful tree um, and landscape up here. And so I'm just going to walk you guys through. Um, so this is technically the garage here. And it's really huge. <laughs> I think the garage is like the biggest space in the whole house. Um, it has to be. Um, and then I'll take you guys around to the front door. Or I'm going to assume is the front door. Um, we have this nice like front area. Another downfall to this property is obviously the power lines. Um, but again, like I said, it's really difficult to find um, flat land in Prescott that's buildable. That is not, um, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. We did pretty good. Um, so this will be our front porch. It looks like these will be um, the pillars. And then this will be front patio, front door entry space. Um, I know that the entry will be around here. We'll have like a small like alcove area and then you'll have the stairs taking up this room um and then living room is all here which walking in here it seems kind of small <laughs> um i think all together the square footage of the house is around 2500 square feet it could be smaller i could be totally wrong it's between 20 and 25,000 20 20 and 2500 square feet um so it is a smaller home it is a two story um, so, you know, we wanted to live here and so we kind of had to give and take a little bit with what we, you know, chose, but anyways, so this will be our living room. Um, there'll be a window here. So when you're standing at this window, you'll have this view. Um, our plans for the front yard are to completely grade it out, um, and then potentially do like a turf piece up front in front of the, um, entry and then possibly doing some like plants up here maybe like a shrub on top just to kind of like block it in um a nice little fence um and so this is what you look out at this beautiful tree um and then when you turn around this will be our fireplace we're going to put in a gas fireplace um with a beautiful mantle to surround it and then the tv will hang above um, I don't know if you guys ever saw our old place, but we had this beautiful mantle that we had built and then we left it. So, And then this big hole right here is actually our dining room space. And so our dining room table will sit here. There's a small door in this little corner. And then we have a window and a window 
And then we have French doors right here that lead out to another patio that will come out to, it looks like about here. And then all of this space, all the way past these rock formations is our land. So we're planning on clearing this completely out. And then again, making this like a turf, this will kind of be like our backyard area, um, side yard, because our backyard, it doesn't really exist. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but we plan on doing like a big piece of turf right here, like leveled piece of turf. And then beyond that, possibly doing some DG with like a playhouse and a trampoline. Uh, we want to completely level this area. And then this tree back here, we're planning on doing like a play house like platform tree house for the boys so another um thing that you may have missed is that we are pregnant with our second boy um and we're due in march so in just around three months <laughs> so we will have two boys and so you know part of the reason why we wanted this space was because we knew we were having another child or we wanted to um, and so we wanted to have plenty of room for them to grow and enjoy living here um, in beautiful Prescott. So, um, so then I'll go back in the house. So then through here is the kitchen. Um, and it seems kind of small, but if a whole tractor can fit in here, it must not be that small. <laughs> um, so again, stairs will be kind of in this general area and then we'll have like fridge and counter space. And then on this side we'll have like sink and then a nice island in the middle. Again, there's a door right here that leads out to the back area, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then through here, um, there's going to be a pantry, mud room, and then it looks like this area right here is potentially like all the mud room, powder bath, pantry mixed together, um, which seems kind of small right now, but it's fine. We're just gonna, we're just gonna picture that it's look, gonna look bigger when we get in here. Um, and then there'll be a door leading into the garage from the mud room. I'll show you guys the plans in another video. Um, but I just love these like rock formations and trees. It's so beautiful. Um, and then, so obviously you'll go up the stairs, like right about here. And then there's a whole nother level with all the bedrooms and the laundry room and a loft and all that stuff. So um, if we walk out the back door, there isn't a lot of space for like a backyard. So our plans for this are to potentially like put down pavers throughout this whole area, put a nice little fence along the back. And then later in a few hundred years, when we can afford it, we would love to do like a deck that jets out over these rocks because these rocks are so beautiful. Um, obviously we're not gonna, like they can't be moved or removed. I mean, we could, but that would be like crazy expensive. Um, but even just like a nice little patio right here, kind of jetting out over the rocks would be really cool. And then somehow creating like a, like a staircase leading down because all of this space down here is also our land. Um, it goes like all the way down that way. It comes up here and goes all the way that way. So we have like this whole beautiful rock formation. Again, like I said, this is gonna be the epic, most amazing playground for the boys. Um, they can climb the rocks. And then down here, we plan on kind of clearing out some of this like ugly shrub, keeping the major trees and then putting like more stuff down here. Like, you know, what else could we do? So we have a lot of room to work with. Um, we would love to do like goats someday, maybe a donkey, have some animals, um, maybe even another like hangout spot down there, like a fire pit or something. So there's a lot of room and a lot of potential to do things. It's just, it's going to be very like, you know. <laughs> so anyway, we plan on like paving this area and putting some sort of like path around to this space. I actually really think that this area here could be a great little garden, like fence it off and it would be like the perfect little garden. Um, even thinking about like maybe a chicken coop could go here. Um, I don't know. I just know that I want a chicken coop and I want a garden. So wherever those end up being, <laughs> um, and then the trees we're hoping, fingers crossed, to keep all of them. This one, this one, and that big one over there um, because trees are just amazing. They're beautiful. Um, 
So anyway, this is a layout of the house. We also have this whole space up here. This would be probably more turf. Like I'm picturing like a nice big piece of turf that like covers most of this graded area. And then um, all of that up there being like the boys, like room for the boys to play. Um, so, and it's really cool because when you walk this way, all of this space is ours. All the way past these rocks back here is ours. Um, this is the tree I was talking about for Cash's play set or play house or, you know, tree house. And then again, all of this room could potentially be for chickens or garden or whatever. Um, this must be like a game trail or something because it's like perfectly plowed down. And then again, we have all these rocks. We have a natural creek that flows when it rains. Um, it comes down like right here and trickles down into the rest of the property. Um, and so it's really beautiful. I'll have to show you guys all the pictures of like the land, like the, what the lot actually looks like and like the plans, the floor plans and all of that, because it's all of course hard to see and visualize when you're just looking at a bunch of dirt and weeds, <laughs> but it is cool to see the house like mapped out um, and how much room there is to walk. I mean, it's a small pad. Like when you think about how much room you have, you know, around the house, it seems pretty small. But then when you get over here and back in there and you see how much room there is, there's a lot of potential. And this is our forever home. We are never going to get rid of this home. I mean, Lord willing, we'll be able to afford to live in it <laughs> because interest rates are crazy. Um, but it's like my dream house. Like, it's just going to be so beautiful. Um, this will all be parking space. I'm like picturing like over here, like a basketball hoop on the, uh, garage. And then we have like an RV pad so that when family comes, they can park their RV there and plug in. And then, you know, potentially if that ever needed to be rented out, we could rent the RV pad out. Um, and and we have some extra parking up here, which this isn't our land. It's actually like county space. Um, but we actually met and spoke with all the neighbors and they're like, yeah, nobody really uses that. So um, Scott's probably going to park his vehicle, his like work vehicle up there just so that it's like out of the way and not taking up the garage space. But I think it's really beautiful. I think it has a lot of beautiful potential this driveway is going to be sick to slide down in the winter time when it's snowy. Um, and I'm just really psyched about it. This little trail over here. I just picture this being like, I thought about this being the chicken coop area, like totally get rid of this bush, clear out like a little circle pad and make like a little chicken coop with a little indoor fence. And then the chickens can come out and like roam the driveway. I don't know. I'm just... Like picture a beautiful white farmhouse sitting right here with like beautiful plants and it's going to be white with black trim. It's going to be so pretty. I can't wait. There is a cute little white farmhouse back there too. Um, I'm just so excited. Like my bedroom window is going to be right up next to this tree. Like I'm going to look out my window and I'm going to see some power lines, but I'm also going to see this tree and I'm also going to see this view over here. This is Granite Mountain right here. It's beautiful. Anyway, anyway, we're both really excited. Cash is so excited um, to get in a new house. Sorry guys, I'm like so out of breath <coughs> for obvious reasons. Um, but we're also really excited. Um, right now, we're currently living with my mom and dad um, in their guest room. They've been gracious enough to have us all move in. Cash has his own room. Um, when the baby comes, it'll only be a few months until the house is done. So we'll all fit in there perfectly. It's a little squishy and tight, but we all get along really well, so it works out great. But anyways, we're all very excited. And so anyway, I will update you guys. I, I wanna do a video to show you guys the plans and like the site map and everything. So you can see like what the actual land looks like, what the house is gonna look like, all that stuff. And then, yeah, I'm just, 
I'm really excited to share this process with y'all um, just so I can have it back to look on and, and enjoy. And um, we've never done anything like this, the two of us. So it's a big thing. It's a big step. And of course, having another one um, is going to be a lot to add into the mix, but I think we can handle it. We're a pretty strong bunch. So anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching today. If you are um, wanting to join us on our home building journey, then don't forget to subscribe um, to our channel. And of course, um, like this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.